Well, Mo, obviously here at St George's Park, we've had a wonderful day so far. Are you enjoying the surroundings and the facilities here? Yeah, it's nice. Um, I've been here before, but um, obviously you just see how nice it is and um, how good it is to, to train down here for, for the week and obviously getting ready for the new season. Yeah, how have you found pre-season? Because it's, it's strange, isn't it? Because you've obviously been back quite a while already. Yeah, I think we've been in a few weeks now. Uh, obviously, like four months off. I think we had um, come back and we was a bit rusty, like personally. Um, but like, it's been good. It's been hard, obviously. Um, but it's, it's been enjoyable, though, um, because we missed, obviously, missed playing football and um, coming back and... I think the boys have been working hard and um, obviously we're looking forward to the new season. Yeah, How did you find that period without football? Because I've spoke to a number of players, some have got young families and it was great for them because they yeah. could spend time with their kids. How did you find that time when you were away from the game? It was good for me because I was, I was in my family in London so obviously and I don't get to go to London that much. Um, but it was good to obviously spend spend that much time there. I still had to do work but it was obviously just, just staying down in family and, and it was good. Yeah, it's funny because you speak to some people and if they don't have a, a family of their own and they get lumbered without being able to go and see their own family, mm. that must be really tough. So you must have been pleased that you were able to spend that, that quality time. Yeah, of course. Yeah, obviously everyone wants to spend time with their families and whenever we get a chance, we do. Um, like, lucky for me, I only live in London, so it's not too far anyway, so I go back weekends sometimes. But obviously that time, four months is, is, a, is a long time and obviously I think everyone really enjoyed it um, but everyone missed football at the same time and obviously we couldn't wait to come back and obviously start hard work and, and, and get the season going. Yeah, Ivan Tony took all the plaudits last season but it's yeah. hard to, well it's easy to forget I guess that you managed to get 16 goals um, in all competitions. Yeah. Was, were you pleased uh, with that? Yeah of course, obviously my first season I, I didn't play that much the, the year before that and obviously coming in um, I just wanted to show like I could still score goals and obviously I did that and 16 I was only four away from 20 and the season stopped a bit early but obviously Ivan's been like I think the best striker uh, hands down and um, obviously it was good like playing with him and um, like me personally I thought I could have got so much more um, when I when I miss some chances at a game I sometimes I can't sleep um, so Obviously, this year I'm trying to trying to improve in that much more, and obviously now that I've scored how many I did last season, going to the new season, I've got like so much confidence, and, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Because people don't really understand how missing chances can affect a striker. Because sometimes, you know, fans might look at it and think, ah, he doesn't really care, yeah. he's missed a chance. But as you say, there you you do because that's your livelihood. Of course, yeah. Um, like I said, we sometimes only get one chance a game, and um, if you don't go in and then it seems like you didn't do much during the game as a striker, you just want to score goals and like I said, when, when I miss a chance and and it's not, I, I don't think, I, I do think about it a lot that, that same night, so obviously just, but after that night, you just got to go again, go train, um, finish off, like do some finishing and during, have a good week and, and obviously go again for the next game, but obviously I think it can affect you, but you just got to dust it off quickly and go again. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? Again, you, you talk about strikers and, and belief and confidence, and obviously if you're not scoring goals or you're not contributing how you feel you want to, that's so easy for confidence to drop in that position more than any other on the pitch, I guess. Yeah, of course. So obviously, I, I think the only thing is every striker goes through it. Um, uh, myself, I went through it last season. I think I, I, think I went a month or, or, and a bit without scoring or even longer than that. So, But I've always had, like, every striker goes through it, just got a... Well, keep plugging away, and obviously when when the, when you do score, look, one goal changes everything. That like once you get that one goal, like it changes so much. So obviously you, you just got to keep going, and and like we can't really put our heads down too much. Obviously you do the same night, like I said, um, but we just got to keep going. Strange as well when people talk about partnerships. Uh, I keep saying the word strange, but partnerships in terms of strikers because you scored 16, Ivan got well into the 20s. Um, yeah, you know, people are thinking, can they, those two can play together? Can you play with Dembele? Can you play with Ricky? Do, do you think about that as a striker? Do you, do you sort of think to yourself, you know, my attributes are better suited with someone else, or can you work at it to a point whereby it doesn't really matter if people from the outside don't think it works? You know, when Obviously you get combinations. We, we train with each other every day, so in training, um, 
sometimes it's me and Ivan playing, sometimes it's me and Dembele, sometimes Ivan and Dembele. Like you seen like last year when Dembele came in, it was like Dembele and Ivan. They were doing like fantastic. They was both scoring goals and obviously it changes. Me and Dembele, like we we done it um, at Burton and we I think it was we had a really good game and um, like it, it it just obviously matter what the manager wants. I, I think uh, what suits him uh, and, and the team at the, at the time. So. We don't. We know we can play with each other. Obviously, just down to the system and, and what the gaffer wants. Yeah, and ultimately, it's about how the rest of the team adapts to strikers. Because you know, it's all very well saying, say you and Dems played up front together. It's no point people launching at your head because that's not your game. You need yeah, to adapt course. the game to, yeah. to your to attributes. Yeah, I, I think we'll, like we work on it the whole week, and like whoever starts and and we we'll go about like what's what's the best way. Like if Ivan's playing, you know, you could go along to him. Um, and he could hold up the ball, but obviously for me and Dems, like we prefer it on, on on the floor. But sometimes we don't might not get that, so it just it depends who's playing, and obviously we just got to adapt to it, um, adapt to who's playing up front. How do you find pre-season as a striker? Because you're playing lots of games, there's opportunity to score goals, but it's not the real thing. Is it about getting into a rhythm? About uh, yeah, putting yeah. Back um, well, obviously, it's a bit. Obviously, it's hard now, um, but. It's like it's pre-season, but you, as a striker, you want to score as much as much as you can. But like last season, I, I scored about five pre-season goals, and I did, and I had a slow start to the season. So it, that, sometimes it don't really matter how much it like in pre, because it's pre. You just gotta find a way to to make sure you're confident and, and ready. Obviously, in training, you're training every day, and obviously in the games as well. Just gotta make sure you're doing the right stuff, and and obviously hope that's enough. Like for it when the season comes. And when you're on the training field, obviously when Aaron McLean was here, and obviously Mark Robson's here now, as a striker, is it about repetition? Sometimes you can do as many drills as you like, but ultimately it's about how it replicates in a game. Because you know you could stand six yards from goal and put the ball in the back of the net, but if there's no one near you, then yeah. that's not what you're going to get in a game. You have to adapt sometimes yeah. how you do the drills. Of course, like obviously Robbo, um, obviously Maka used to do it. Like we like. The training sessions we did, we used to do like shooting drills after the after the session and we do it like specific like match uh, so it's not like something we weren't doing a game so it's all like quick touches and and getting the shots off because obviously that's what we strikers do um, we don't really have time to think about in a game we only get like a second maybe just to think about so that's what we try to do um, in, at training as well like shooting drills and and make it like match specific. Last season, the, the moment that sticks in my mind is the goal very late on to earn a, I think it was to earn a point actually. And it, I think everybody said at the time the one person you'd want that to fall to was you. Is that the moments like that? Do you look back on and think, yeah, that's that's when you earn your corn, so to speak, earn your money? Yeah, of course. Like um, like I said, like that. Like, first thing I think that's my, my favorite goal last season. I think uh, me, I'm normally that like, cool in front of goal. I, I try to stay calm because. Um, when I lash out, it don't really work, so I have to stay calm. And but obviously, personally, that uh, 16 goals, I think that's not enough for me. Um, but like, like I said, I, I should be doing more, and hopefully next season I'll I'll, I'll try to do that. But that looking back at it, that 16 goals, but the season um, got like, called up a bit short, unfortunately. But as a striker, you just got to you, every game, you just got to try to take your chances and, and keep going. Just a couple of questions, and then you're rooming with Dembele at the moment. It's yeah. always difficult sometimes when you come away in a pre-season because you get lumbered with a, a bad roommate. It can affect yeah. you both in terms of your sleep, but also in terms of what you're doing on the training pitch. Yeah. Are you happy with Dembele? Yeah, of course. Uh, we like we always room together anyway, so it's not like it's, it's something out of the blue. Um, so obviously I'm I'm happy with Dembele. Uh, he's always on the phone though. I just get a bit that in, um, but he's yeah, like me and Dembele are quite similar, so we like it's it's fun sharing. Really. And obviously the Carabao Cup draw this morning, home tie against Cheltenham. As a former Cheltenham player, I guess you must be looking forward to coming up against some, some old boys, although I'd imagine a few people have moved on since then. Yeah, of course. I, I think I still know a few, few boys there anyway, so it'll be good like um, playing against them. I, I kind of thought we'd, we'd, we'd get them so for some reason, so obviously I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, it's good to see some old faces and obviously we need the win, so hopefully we'll, we'll get that. And, and yeah, people look at it and think League Two side at home, that should be an easy you given, but they're a good side, aren't they? Yeah, good side. Yeah, they've lost um, on a playoffs, uh, I think. So, well, they've got a strong team now. Um, defensively, we got a good record last season. So, but obviously, we can't like take anything for granted, and we got to do like what we have to do. So, obviously, pre-season get 
obviously we've got a big game tomorrow and um, obviously just, just try to do what we're supposed to do and, and what the gaffer wants us to do.